good? No, he's not good. All right. So the original plan was we were going to play three tunes, <clears throat> but time's, you know, ticking. So we're actually going to only going to play two. And we're going to open... Uh, we're, I actually had the, um, the honor, I guess, of playing the last music that was played in the hideaway because <laughs> Tim, Tim and I were... Uh, Tim and I were playing our Thursday night thing. And by the way, we're, we're looking for a gig. So um, to any of you restaurant or club owners, if you have a night when you're way too busy and you'd like to just kind of cut the crowd back a bit, I'd like to, I'd like to suggest live jazz because the, 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 the process usually goes under new management and then two weeks later, live jazz, and then two weeks later, for lease. So anyway... But we got you here, so we're going to subject you to some. So we're going to play, the, we're going to play a great Henry Mancini tune called The Days of Wine and Roses.
That's Richard Jackson on the drums. Yeah. Jamie Bestwick on the bass. Give it up. And my good friend and musical savior on the piano, Tim Sullivan.